So when you think of horror, diagonal spreads, what you're trying to create there is the opportunity for uh, a stock move and a price and a time period by which you think it's going to happen. And you know, when you look at a lot of these different strategies, like the diagonal, uh, you can uh, morph them into uh, different scenarios as well. So when you look at uh, the diagonal, my favorite strategy to add or uh, the existing diagonal strategy into another strategy would be a back spread. So it, what would be a great example here is in, in, in Fari's example of rig, where we're looking at a stock that's trading $63 and he believes it has a chance to go to 57 or even 45. Uh, it's a great opportunity to perhaps uh, put on some kind of uh, you know, additional calls uh, that you may want to uh, change the, the, the ratio of the spread. Instead of being one to one, maybe you're two to three. And the reason being is take advantage of uh, the balls being at a better level. Uh, balls is always a very important part of what you decide when you're buying. You want to make sure you're buying vol at low value and not spending a lot of money. And when you're selling, you want to make sure you're selling vol at high levels. Now, when I see low vols and I mean high, low levels and high levels, what I'm referring to is historical data that you should be keeping track of in your analysis when you implement positions. You know, just don't go look at pricing and say, okay, I'm going to do that because it's priced there and that one's priced there. You know, have some data in front of you of what historical vol levels are in the individual name and even particularly perhaps individual months. Because we all know that uh, stocks uh, every quarter are going to have changes in vols because of earnings. Uh, stocks are always going to have changes in vols because of news. And obviously, the overall tone and movement in the market is going to train, change the vols in a stock. So it's a uh, compilation of all this different information and having that available in front of you to make some of these analysis and then make the analysis of where you think the stock may be going. So the more uh, work and time that you put into your analysis of what it is you're trying to create, then you could take a lot of the spreads that we've done in previous webinars and today's webinar with the diagonal and create a position that basically is formatted to what you believe are the points of where the stock's going to go to over what period of time. And when you refine yourself to those type of strategies, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun because when you see them come to fruition, uh, that's because you put a lot of hard work and effort into it. And if uh, you've done that work and things just aren't working out exactly like you want them to, that's when you need to step in and either make an adjustment to the position or admit that, hey, I've done something wrong here. Let me close the position on out and move to the next one.